boosters. Today, we dive headfirst into the philosophical trenches of self-improvement. If you clicked expecting a gentle, sugar-coated pep talk, you're in the wrong place. Here, we don't just face illusions. We tear them down and build up truly strong individuals. This journey is not for the faint of heart. It's for those ready to confront their weakest selves and forge a path to absolute greatness. Let's get one thing straight, people. Self-improvement isn't a leisurely cussing stroll through the park. It's a relentless battle against the weakest parts of ourselves. It's about looking into the mirror and saying, not today, mother cusser. Today I come to get what I came for. It's about transforming the reflection you see into the person you are destined to become. First off, let's look into the people you surround yourself with can make or break you. This isn't about finding friends. It's about bringing on board the relentless, those who challenge you and stand with you when things get tough. They're not just there to celebrate your victories. They're the ones picking you up when you're down, pushing you harder than ever before. You gotta be strategic about who you let into your life. Find those rare breeds who drive you to smash your limits and hold you accountable every step of the way. So don't go anywhere. Stick with me to the end, and I'll break down exactly who you need in your corner to build a league of extraordinary achievers. Now it's time to carve out our goals with the precision of a stoic emperor. Think Marcus Aurelius, not just a philosopher and emperor, but a man who dominated his era by setting clear, achievable goals. Do you think he wasted time worrying about being nice to himself or what others thought? Cuss no. He was too busy running an empire and crushing adversity with his will. It's our turn now. We're not just dreaming big, we're breaking down those colossal dreams into daily bite-sized battles. Every single victory, no matter how small, is a battle won against the weaker self you left behind yesterday. Here's how we conquer. Define and conquer. Lay out your major goals, then slash them into smaller actionable steps. Set firm deadlines. This isn't just about making big dreams more manageable. It's about moving relentlessly forward. Prioritize your battles. Identify the critical tasks that will lead you to victory and schedule them. Own your calendar. Don't let it own you. This is how you keep your eye on the prize without burning out. Victor's Reflections. Keep a journal of your progress and the obstacles you face. This isn't just scribbling in a diary. It's strategizing. It aligns your actions with your ultimate mission and adapts your tactics as the world evolves. Marcus Aurelius wasn't just surviving his reign, he owned it. With discipline, clarity, and relentless progress, we can own our paths too. Hold strong, stay inspired, and keep in mind. Every day offers a chance to improve on who you were yesterday. Your thoughts are not just fleeting notions. They are your core weaponry. This endeavor requires robust mental resilience, not just physical endurance. Here's where your journal becomes essential. It's far more than just paper and ink. It's a vault for your strategic thoughts, reflections, and plans. Consistently recording your thoughts equips you with the mental armor needed to face challenges head on and keeps your goals sharply in focus. Remember, engaging in philosophy means putting thought into action. Self-improvement isn't just about pushing your limits. It's about recognizing when to go hard and when to back off to come back stronger. Taking care of your physical, mental, and emotional well-being isn't just necessary. It's non-negotiable if you want to keep breaking barriers. You've got to embrace practices that hammer strength into your body, forge clarity in your mind, and fuel resilience in your spirit. Recovery isn't just downtime. It's an integral part of the grind. Here's how you hammer it down. Mindful meditation. Don't just sit there. Use this time to build a fortress in your mind. Spend 10-20 minutes a day getting your head straight and the stress out. Focus on your breathing or dive into guided meditations to sharpen your mental edge. Regular exercise. Pick what challenges you, yoga to bend you, running to push your limits, or lifting weights to pull her through. Make your workout routine a battleground where you strengthen your body and unleash those endorphins. It's about more than feeling good. It's about building a body that can handle whatever cuss you put it through. Seek feedback. This isn't about getting pats on the back. Seek out mentors, peers, or professionals who will tear down your work and build it back better. 
Feedback is about seeing the blind spots in your strategies and fortifying your approach to prevent future blowouts. If you want to grow, you've got to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Every time you fail, every bit of pain you feel, that's your reality. It ain't about defeat. It's your opportunity to get stronger. These moments, they're not breaking you, they're making you. Embrace the pain. Let it transform you. This is where real growth happens, where you forge the unbreakable spirit inside you. Now, if you stayed to the end, here are some of the unbreakable people that will hold fast and forge relentless inspiration and fuel your journey. The Loyalist. Reliable and trustworthy, loyalists provide a stable and dependable foundation for mutual growth. They are the ones who ensure continuity and consistency in the relationship. The Sage. Wise and experienced, this type provides guidance with a deep understanding of the subject matter and human nature. They are often seen as a source of wisdom and are approached for their knowledgeable insights. The Motivator. Always pushing themselves and others towards goals, motivators are energetic and enthusiastic, often serving as the driving force in a partnership. The Visionary. Full of big ideas and future-focused goals, Visionaries inspire by showing what's possible and painting a vivid picture of the future that others want to follow. The Charismatic Charismatic leaders attract and influence others through their compelling presence, using their charm to motivate and captivate their audience. Stay committed to these practices and watch how they transform you into a machine that doesn't know how to quit.